Good morning, everyone. So I'm really happy to, to, um, to welcome you all to our, here in Austin to our third um, Data Arc Summit. Thank you for making the time for us. Um, you know, we, we really have, we have stuff to show you, of course, um, today, but we really um, want to spend time, you know, in conversations. That's, that's the, the interesting piece for us. Um, I'm, jo I'm joined by a number of uh, fellow colleagues from Datadog. I mean, you, you met, I think, a number of them, but there you'll see um, um, other folks from Datadog presenting specifically about specific features. Um, or, or be available for demos um, uh, in, the, in the main area. Um, this is a slide that I think I, pull, I, I put together every single summit. Um, this is really for us the, uh, the reason why we put it together is, is three things. One is we want, um, we want, want it to be a learning uh, opportunity. And that's, that's for us, of course, to learn from you what you need, how you use the product, and so on. But it's also um, for you to learn from one another, um, you know, how you use the product. And so that requires you to share your experience, and that's something um, that, that's really important uh, in, in the summit, is, is uh, a place where you can share you know, how you, the problems you face um, in, you know, in, in sort of you know, a quest towards better observability, um, the tricks you found with how to use data better, and so on. And the last part, but equally importantly, is, um, is for you to enjoy, you know, enjoy yourself, have great conversations, see, um, see old friends in real life, make new friends. Um, this is what it, it's all about. Um, now I want to give you a sneak peek uh, into something that's, um, that's, uh, that's out there. But it's actually a sneak peek in the past. Let's see if it works. This is Datadog circa 2010. Do I need to press something to play? Oh, next slide. If you're like us, right. your systems are generating too much data in too many places. And getting a hold of it all to see the big picture is a daunting task. Datadog aggregates data from your systems, applications, and cloud services so you can see it all in context with your team and make sense of it. It's only a minute long. So. Your tools and services are pre-integrated. You can, for example, easily mix data from Amazon Web Services and Google Analytics, along with your own system metrics. All metrics and events are presented in context, so you can connect the dots. For example, the bounce rate went up sharply today. There may be something wrong. Some metrics change as well in MySQL. And code was deployed right before that. Alexi deployed a new version of the shopping cart and he assembled a dashboard for this part of the application. Dashboards can combine system, performance, and custom metrics, such as the number of items added to shopping carts. Dashboards are not reserved to operations anymore. They can be assembled by developers when they instrument their applications, along with the information necessary to understand them. Datadog can also analyze your data to detect trends, changes, and offer recommendations. You can learn more by signing up for the Alpha program. God, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> now the uh, so this luckily most of most of this stuff um, has disappeared. Um, I guess we we got a cuter logo out of out of this. Uh, the but but at the same time there, there's some elements that that have survived and, and that are that are in a sense, only now, um, you know, starting to, to appear. By the way, this was a, an, an actual HTML mock-up. There was nothing um, behind it. There was, <laughs> was the data were basically hand-drawn in JavaScript. Um, now, seven years later, uh, fast forward to today. Um, so, obviously, very, very grateful um, to count you as, as customers and users and part of our community. So. I um, wanted to put out some stats um, just to, to reflect a little bit um, uh, over the sort of the, the journey so far. So we have you know, many thousands of customers um, you know, at this point. Uh, so some, uh, obviously uh, a bunch of you are here. Um, small, large, very large in all, in all industries. And this is really what's been great. Um, integrations have grown as well. I think we're, we're past the 200 mark and, and that's really great. This is, this is part of the, the value of Datadog, and I want to you know, keep investing in there. Uh, and then we're 40, 40, 53, actually, as, as of this morning. That's, that's what I checked. So just to give you a sense of uh, where we are now, 
Um, we have three main offices, New York, Boston, and Paris, and then uh, presence all over the globe, really, um, with, with a bunch of folks all over the place. Um, now, seven years later, we've added a couple of products um, since we started with a sort of core infrastructure. Um, one of them is, um, is obviously uh, APM uh, or tracing, depending on, sometimes we use one or the other, but I think uh, formally it's data or APM. We launched that. Um, we announced it last year, pri pri private and public beta, and then, um, as, you, as you know, formal launch this spring. Um, the big announcement of this year is obviously logs. Um, we, we acquired, we, we made a, the announcement, I want to say, early September of an acquisition we made a little, a little while earlier of um, a log management company out of Paris called Logmatic. Um, really happy to, to have them on board, and you'll be able to meet uh, a number of them uh, today. And, um, and then we have more stuff in the pipeline. Um, so just to say, uh, you know, I, can't, I won't say much about what's coming, but, but there's more. Uh, we're, we're not just stopping with, with these three, you know, as important as, as they are. Now, with logs, this is really a key question that everybody um, wants answers to. The question is, what's going to be the name? <laughs> um, so some people have said, yeah, we should call it data log. Uh, other people said log dog, and <laughs> somebody made the clever suggestion of calling it dogmatic, um, because the company we bought is called Logmatic. Um, now, I don't think it's going to be any of those, unfortunately, uh, at least not officially, but, um, and they wouldn't tell me how we're going to name it, so, you know, I don't know. I'll find out just, just like you will. Now, seriously speaking, we have, um, we have, I think, three people at least from the product management team. Uh, of the locks, if they would just raise their hands, they're in the back hiding. So that's well. So talk to these guys if you're interested in logs. Um, we'll have also a demo station. Expect a lot of questions from them as well. So I, you know, I should warn you. Now, there's more stuff in the menu. Of course, um, we have uh, processes, containers, orchestrators. This is something we've been really involved in. I think I want to say in the pre 1.0, I think it's Docker 0.9. Uh, we wanted to get support for, for Docker back in the day. We didn't know where it was going to go, but we felt like this is important. Um, we, should, we should be there. And, and since we've been sort of constantly pushing, we're supporting orchestrators, uh, Kubernetes, Mesos, Cloud Foundry. And what we're seeing is that that ecosystem is moving very fast, so we've got to keep evolving. Um, not to forget, of course, APM uh, is continuing to evolve rapidly. We have the session um, this afternoon. Uh, I'd say that. There's a lot of efforts um, primarily around, uh, well, not solely, but a lot around new runtime, so JVM. So if you, if you run um, you know, Java apps, Java JVM-based apps, um, we're, we're basically, I want to say in private or public beta. Um, uh, and so the APM team can help you, help you out there. Um, alerting is, is, continues to be critical. I think this is, alerting is essentially the feature that got us um, to be sticky as, an, as, you know, as a platform that's, that got us you, essentially. And so this is something that's both very hard uh, internally for us to, to maintain, but also, so it's getting a lot of attention and we want to keep you know, pushing, making it better, faster, and, and so on. Um, anomaly detection, um, that's something that I think over the last 18 months where it's been publicly available, we've learned a lot. Um, so we're, we're thinking about new models, new algorithms, richer ones, but also trying to, to provide a better um, sort of UI or UI user experience uh, when you want to use anomaly detection. Keep having more integrations, you know, cloud-based or non-cloud-based. This is the, the bread and butter of, of Datadog, so we're not, we're not going to stop. Um, and this is great. And if you're, if you're, part, if you're a partner um, you know, we, we, and you're here, well, thank you. And then, uh, you know, please, uh, please come talk to us. Um, and finally, we have a new agent um, that we're announcing today. Today, um, so data agent six. They'll, I think there's a session on that just after me, or a few afters. Um, now, I would not want uh, you to sort of walk, you know, take away from the session that this is all features and we sort of forget in the core. Um, and you know, obviously, we keep uh, adding. We keep spending time, effort, and money, and, and sort of building the teams around the core data dog. And so, what I call um, sort of invisible work. Uh, and the reason why we do that is because, if frankly, this is why you, you bought the service in the first place. Um, APM and logs are great; they're gonna they continue to grow, or, or they, they're gonna grow from here. 
but it's still early. Um, the, the, the core value right now is around, uh, or the bulk of the value um, is around infrastructure. So this is, this is something that's, that's core to us. And really what that means is, um, when I say the invisible work, is being able to, to continue to support bigger and bigger um, sort of data stream coming to us. Um, it's, it's pretty humble when I, we have the numbers um, sort of at home and you see the number of points per second, it's like, wow, this is, it never stops. Um, and that's not even taking into account like logs that are gonna start coming our way. So we, we spend an incredible amount of time on, on this and it's gonna be, it's, it's time well spent. Um, we obviously wanna support more tags. Um, so that's, that's sort, of, sort of constant quest to push it further, just you know, send more, richer and richer data. Um, and then sort of faster everything. That, that's something that um, it's been, you know, sometimes a challenge where, because uh, in, in one way we're sort of this unbounded time series database, so um, the experience is sometimes good, sometimes not as good as we want it to be. So just continue to invest there, just make it snappier, um, make it better. Now, um, I want to sort of step back just a little bit and, and share with you how I think about the road travel thus far. Um, this means where, where are you going? Uh, so back in 2016, this is how, when we announced APM, this is, this is, this, this is in a sense, our worldview um, of the stack, you know, what, what, is, what it looks like. So the base, uh, I can use this guy, I don't know, it's probably too small for you to see, but um, infrastructure is really at the base of everything. And this is where we started, this is where we continue to invest. Um, and the goal is to help you understand your entire infrastructure in real time, right? Um, down there, when you look at you know, all the metrics that we collect and so on, it's, it's, it's a sort of rich but sort of complex and noisy world. There's, if you think about you know, AWS integration metrics, there's tons of them and they're, they're you know, measure a very, a very minute part of the system. Um, now on, on top of that, and so this is, this is where we started, this is where we're strong and we continue to be there. On top of that, we announced, um, we announced APM is really supporting um, applications and services. And from a, from a um, data perspective, it's, it's actually the, the, the um, it, uh, sort of the focus is not so much on a lot of metrics because the metrics for APM are much simpler. You have really, um, you know, throughput latency, error rate, um, that's, that's, you know, that's more or less it. Um, but what's important there to understand the, the performance of an application is to put things in context, to understand how the various pieces that make up an application uh, contribute to a particular transaction. So that makes, this is the realm of traces and flame graphs, and that's, that's where, um, that's really the, the centerpiece uh, of, of application. And at the top is the business, and the business is ultimately, so here named as analytics or custom business metrics, the business is ultimately what makes everything below it possible. Um, and what we see there is um, it's, it's a lot fewer metrics, a lot, it's a lot fewer things to measure, but very proprietary. They mean something to you, they frankly don't mean something to us when we process them. Sort of very high value um, kind of metrics that are very amenable um, to things like anomaly detection, because you want to know, I don't know if it's logins, checkouts, you know, you name it. This is you want to know how, how is the business doing in real time. So this is sort of our, our worldview in, um, from, a, from a sort of stack, you know, layer of abstraction perspective. Um, and now we're saying there's another, um, sort of another way to look at it to, is to think about the data we collect to support, in support of that, you know, observability at other level of the stack. So that's something we, um, when we announced logs, we, we spelled out sort of the three pillars of observability, um, which are, you know, we named them kind of metrics, traces, and events, events, you know, found in logs. So metrics, um, you know, to some extent, um, I, I talked a little bit about them is, metrics are simple, they're cheap, uh, cheap to produce, um, they're, they're sort of meaningful, but they have a limited context. And we can use tags, you know, to obviously do, do a lot of aggregation, but um, they're, they're sort of, the, almost like the atomic, the core element of observability. Um, traces are, are interesting because they're, again, from a, from a metric perspective, they don't capture as much, but they capture a lot of the, the interdependencies and the relationship between components. Um, and so you, you, they'll produce some metrics, but, but they have sort of a richer, um, kind of a, a richer body, if you will. And events, you know, or logs are really the richest, um, the richest of all in a sense. Um, and they'll produce metrics, they'll be uh, helpful in supporting traces and stuff like that. Um, 
But the one thing that unites them uh, all for us is tags. And that's really, it is what makes, uh, allows us to have a cohesive um, way to think about um, you know, all layers of the stack and um, all ways to collect data. So the tags, they're gonna be, the, they are the same. And this is a very conscious decision. They are the same across all, all types. And they, they really support Datadog in, in, a, in uh, allowing it to sort of work magically as it were. And so we cost, constantly um, invest a lot of time in making sure uh, we're collecting tags. We, we auto extend or auto resolve um, uh, tags. So things work as you expect them to work. Um, so that's really the master plan, right? Just get, you know, check, uh, check all the boxes and, and then we achieve uh, world domination. <laughs> With Comic Sans, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, now, uh, this, uh, so there are things, as we're adding more product and, you know, so ex expanding the, the perimeter of the platform, there are things that we want to remain constant. Uh, some qualities that we, that we think we're, we're achieving or, or at least we're striving to achieve regardless of which product we're talking about. Um, and so what does not change really is things like we want it to be a seamless experience. Now, seamless is sort of an overused word, and you know everybody says it's seamless, but really for us it means very concrete things, things that you're starting to see in the product that, um, which, uh, but but are not fully fully fleshed out, and we have fully haven't fully realized the potential. But something seamless, for instance, is really um, for you to. So you use data because you have a usually you have either it's a performance problem or something you don't understand in the behavior of of the sort of the, the app, the business, you know, that supports the business or the infrastructure. And so seamless means um, throughout, uh, you know, maybe you start with, you're looking at a trace in APM and you're like, huh, you know, why is this thing so slow uh, if, it's, if it's using a slowdown? And maybe from there you wanna go to, you wanna go to logs, see the logs that were generated to support that trace. Um, and from the logs you wanna see, well, I wonder which machine those logs were generated, were, were generated in. And maybe there's a slowdown, some sort of systemic slowdown of the machine. I don't know, there's a backup going or it lost a RAID drive or something like that. And, and so on and so forth. So seamless really means being able to navigate from one part of the, pl the platform to another um, without interruption, without killing the flow, without having you feel like, oh, okay, well, now I've got a thing in traces because um, the logs kind of, I'm, I'm looking at logs and I, that's all, and you know, I gotta go back to the home menu and go to traces and find my way again through the same information. So that's really important for us because it builds, I think this is, this is something that we believe is also a differentiating factor, it builds something cohesive, something that you feel like it belongs together. Um, now of course we want each individual part to, stand, you know, to be valuable in its own, but we think that ultimately it's when you put everything together that you realize the full potential. Um, we want data to keep being helpful. Um, and what that means for us is really um, sort of finding the right balance between easy to use, easy to start, um, you know, simple, uh, simple UI to supporting more sophisticated use cases. And the truth is this is a balance that you have to tune sort of constantly and, and sort of we, we want to be able to serve all audiences when you get started in your sort of path towards better monitoring and observability. Two, you have a lot of experience, you have a lot of people in Datadog and they have ever increasing or ever more, um, uh, I'd say complex needs. And so that's something that we constantly um, internalize is like, is, is what we're building, is it, is it helpful? Um, another way to think at it is, is we wanna stay pragmatic. And so stay pragmatic is, which is um, thinking about, well, there's all this data we can collect. Uh, and, and when you're not pragmatic, you think, well, there's all this data that we can collect, we're gonna show everything, right? Because like, we have it all, why not show it all? And so for us, it's really been exercising this sort of conscious decisions of not necessarily wanting to show everything all, you know, all at once and kind of overwhelming you with, wow, you know, what am I supposed to do with all this? Like, what's the next action? So pragmatic is always uh, us thinking about when we display something, Right, so what? Now what do I do? You know, where does, how does this help? What's my next step? And that's, that's something that we, we're constantly trying to keep alive and instill in every single new product uh, we're putting together. Um, 
So that's pretty much my, uh, you know, my little spiel, but it all ties back to, you know, why we're all here. Um, and and that's, that's really, if you will, the, the motto for me of the day is, is I really sort of selfishly, we want to learn as much as we can from you, but we also we want you to learn as much as you can from us on, or from your, you know, your fellow attendees. Uh, so please take time to share your experience. You know, this is, I think this is a, a very comfortable, uh, very nice setting. So, you know, it should be um, very, um, very good for, for conversations, uh, interesting conversations to happen. And last but not least, um, you know, enjoy, have fun. I mean, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is an important part of, of being all together is, um, is you know, making new friends, as I said, having great conversations. With that, thank you very much.